What I like most about this job is to actually be involved in technology that actually can change the world. We can actually have, still have vehicles that are fun to drive, but yet we're actually not compromising the environment and we're not actually using all the energy resources that's available in the world. With gas prices reaching record levels and with environmental concerns reaching a fever pitch, an innovative Cape Town-based company is emerging from the shadows of the city's Table Mountain to do battle with the best the automotive world can offer. This is the Jewel, a fully electric vehicle that could be a game changer for South Africa and possibly the world. It might be small, but it features some state-of-the-art technologies that the company originally developed for the defense industry. So for many years I've actually worked on guided missiles, uh, which has control systems, which has electric uh, systems in them, which is not that different, apart from the warhead, they not that different from what we've got here. The car is 800% more efficient than similar sized gasoline powered vehicles and it's part of the big push in South Africa to go green. In the next two decades, the country plans to source at least 42% of its energy from sources like wind and waves and has agreed to subsidize some production of the jewel, but they are also searching for private investors. You've got actually one moving part and that's the rotor of the motor. So those are, there are no mechanical other moving parts apart from the rotor that's moving with its, with its bearings. If you look at the gearbox, you've got a single speed gearbox. No clutch, no gear shifting. These things are not wearing out and that's, you know, that, that gives you a significant amount of service life without any maintenance. The car is simple to drive. So what we've got here is, we've got what we call a motion selector. You select whether you're going forward or you're going backwards. You've got a, your fairly simple electrically activated park brake. And that's basically all you need. The Jewel is designed to drive at least 140 miles on one eight-hour charge from a standard wall outlet. South Africans love their cars, but gas-powered automobiles make up 98% of the world's 880 million land vehicles and account for nearly 40% of all greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. The auto industry and governments are increasingly trying to come up with cleaner solutions. What you see there to the left is, is the actual refinery where they, actually, where they take crude oil and they turn it into, into fuel. Now our challenge is actually to close that refinery down. If 100,000 jewels were sold, it would prevent 1.7 million tons of CO2 from being released into the atmosphere every year. Some argue that the power supply for these cars mostly comes from coal-fired electrical power plants. But not only are power plants cleaner and more efficient than internal combustion cars, they also run 24 hours a day regardless of the electrical load on them. So the cars do not increase coal consumption, they simply harness the surplus of energy generated during the low demand time. And there's another aspect which I call vehicle to grid. Um, if you've charged your car fully at night and you drive off to work and you plug it in at, at work during the peak demand time, in principle you can actually supply power to the grid. And by selling power back to the grid, owners can make money off their excess electricity. But there is another way to defer some of the costs of the car. Our pricing strategy in this car is not to include the battery as part of the purchase price, but to actually lease the battery. A couple of reasons for that is now the price of the car can be very competitive. And the other reason is optimal energy then stays the owner of the battery. So we can make sure that we provide the service from the battery that we've promised. We can actually replace the batteries if, if need be, and we can also introduce newer technology as they become available. This plan will make the cars competitively priced with their gas guzzling cousins. South Africa has the biggest auto factories on the continent and as a company Optimal Energy can save in production costs by manufacturing the cars locally with one eye on the local market and another on the huge markets in the United States and Europe. If all goes to plan the cars will start hitting the roads in 2015. Not a minute too soon for a planet running short on time. Reporting from Cape Town, South Africa, this is Jeffrey Barbie for Global Post.